Greetings everyone, thanks for joining me today. In today's tutorial, we're going to have a look at glyphs. Um, it, you may know about glyphs, you may not, um, but basically behind every font there are glyphs. And they could be a, a different symbol, a group of symbols. In this case I'm going to show you how to use the swashes. Um, so it's a different form of the characters themselves. But just so you know, when we think of fonts, we often just think of letters and numbers. But there's so much more behind the font, and that's what we refer to as glyphs. Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to access them and how to use them. Okay, so we'll jump right over to WordPerfect. And we'll use, I'll show you how to access it here. For today's tutorial, I'm going to be looking at the Lily May font. Um, which is with fontbundles.net, free font for commercial use. So we're going to look at this today. Beautiful swashes. Yeah, so fantastic. And we're also going to look at the Melanade font. Again, it's with font bundles, and it has the beautiful swashes on there. Okay, so how do we get there? Over in WordPerfect, what you want to do um, you come down to your start menu and look for character map that way. I just type in character map and that's my go-to method. comes up right there and I just click on it. Okay, so you see we've got it up and just look at all the glyphs that come with this one font. And we're looking at the Lily Mae font. You want to make sure you have that there. To narrow it down, I'm going to use advanced search. I'm going to click that box. On Unicode, I want to look at group by, I want to do the Unicode sub range, just, again, just narrows it down, and private use characters. Okay, so now you can kind of see it a little bit better. And basically, what you want to do here is you see the letter you're looking for. In this case, we're looking for swashes. So I can see the S is right here. I click that, I want to select it, so it goes in the box. And then I want to copy it, and I come over into my document. I've got Lily May, I've got a large font, and I'm just going to double click and paste. There you go. There's your swash, your S swash. Perfect. That's so simple. Character map. It, dis it disappears, but it's not gone. It's just on the bottom of your screen. You can click on it and bring it up again. There you go. And we'll look at the Melanade font as well. So we've got the Melanade font here. There's not a lot of glyphs in this particular. You see a lot right here, but there are more characters. So in this case, um, this particular font download did the left swatch, left slash. So if you type in an S, Oh, sorry. You want the Melanade Swash. Okay, so a little bit different accessing it. But, uh, and you can turn that into the right swash. Oops, it doesn't, it's not agreeing with me. I'm just going to delete that. Okay, you type away, and there you go. So you, you kind of want to look at up here and look for the particular thing. So they may be, um, the fonts may be formed a little bit differently, but you can easily access them. Um, so in this case, in the Melanade font, what you can see for dip files download is the regular font, the OTF file, um, left swatches and right swatches. So when you're doing the download, you want to make sure that you're doing, downloading all of these files um, so you have access to those, um, th the font and the extra swashes. Okay. The Lily May font, a little different how it's bundled, um, but fonts, just in it, so you know that fonts have so much more behind them. And these are glyphs, and it could be characters, and well, one of my favorite things are the swashes. Okay. So that's that. And if you're in Photoshop, really easy to use. You want to make sure you have your type text ready. You want to come up to Type, come down to Panels, and come over to Glyph Panels. OK, 
Okay. And again, you want to make sure you have the right one you're looking for. You want Lily May. Lily May is here. And you can see all the beautiful sloshes. Yep. So let's type in a J. Do that, highlight it, come over, and we can. Where is the J? Okay, I'll just use the Y to show you as an example. Yeah, so you highlight it and then click on your swash, and there it is. Beautiful for graphics. Perfect. Yeah, so that's how simple it is for swashes. Um, you want to download the files. Make sure you have, you're downloading the full file package, the OTF files or the TF files, so you have those fonts now on your computer, and then you can access them through the character map, like that, or in Photoshop using the glyphs. There's so many different ways to use them. If you're using Canva and PicMonkey, you can upload fonts there as well, um, so I'll include that information below. So, and uh, the how to upload those fonts to those programs so you can use them. But yeah, that's uh, Glyphs. So behind fonts, there's more than letters and numbers. There's so many other features that you have access to. The symbols is one, a group of symbols, and these beautiful swashes that I love to use. Yeah, so I hope this tutorial was helpful today. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to leave in the comments below. And until then... Happy creating, my friends. Thanks for joining me today. Bye for now.